Hi guys, it's Autumn Bryant and I'm back with another YouTube tutorial geared toward my people, speech language pathologist. So this year I decided that I want to move to an electronic um, homework system. I give my kids homework sporadically. It's always based on whatever we did that day. It's not anything that's preconceived. So I usually just scribble it down on a note. Um, but I wanted a system that could keep better track of what I gave out, what I asked kids to do, and allow parents to give me feedback. There are already apps and, and websites on the market, but they're usually geared toward our friends, the teachers, who have different needs than the SLP has. So one of our biggest needs as SLPs is confidentiality. This is not a general education service. This is habilitation, rehabilitation, special ed, all these things that fall under that umbrella of needing confidentiality. So something that just sets up a class roster and would allow any student in the class or any parent to see who else is receiving these services would not be acceptable for a speech language pathologist. So I thought, what other ways can this work? And I talk to people about things like Google Classroom and same problem where everyone would be able to see the whole roster. And also do you have, you'd have to set up each uh, quote class individually. So it would be very tedious and time consuming in the beginning. And then it would carry on because anytime your groups changed, which happens a lot throughout the school year for SLPs, then you'd have to kind of go in and redo that. So this system is going to be for each individual student. It will take a little bit of setup, but I think it's totally going to be worth it. So here's what I've come up with. My whole district is already using Google products. We use it for email. We use the Google Drive for documents, spreadsheets, all of that. And our staff and our students are on it. I work with older students with junior high kids, so I think this is going to be pretty easy to manage. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the instructions that I have here. And the very first one is just you're going to go into your Google Drive and create a folder. So I'm logged in here. I'm going to click on the new button and a folder, and I'm going to name it 2015-2016 Speech and Language Homework create. The default whenever you create a folder is that only you can see it. So right now only I can see this folder, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to, I click the folder and I'm going to click on this icon to share it. I am going to get the shareable link, which automatically changed this to anyone with the link can view. But take a look at how long this link is. The chances of someone guessing this is kind of like having a phone number that's unlisted. If no one's probably going to guess this. The only way they're going to see it is if I share this link with them. So I'm going to copy that. Copy the link. Done with that part. And if you can look here, those were the steps that I was supposed to do. I copied the shareable link. Now, what do I want to put inside of the folder? I want to put sections for each individual student inside the folder. And you can decide whether you want to do that as a document or an Excel or a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet or folder. I'm going to choose folder and then I can put other things within it. So I'm going to click new now that I'm within what we'll call the parent folder or the larger folder that will house all of the subfolders. I'm going to add a subfolder. I'm going to add one for each kid. So the first kid I'm going to add, we're going to call him Lawrence. There he is. Now, if I were to share this link with somebody, they would see Lawrence's folder. I'm going to add another kid. We'll call this one Brent. And we'll do a third one just for example. Now, remember that link that I copied. I still have that here. So this is what you would see. It's going to be a folder view. If I go to that tab, the folder view means it gives you a larger view of what's in there. Um, if you put a document in there, it gives you a little preview. So let's go ahead and add a document to this folder just so you can see what it looks like. 
we'll call this one, we'll pretend we have a student called Amber. Hi there, your homework is to practice your R sound. Okay, and I don't have to click save or anything, it's Google, it does it automatically. So if I was to go back over here and refresh, there's a document, it's not really giving me a preview right now, but usually it does if you have an image or something in there you can kind of see what it looks like but if this were the view and i have it on anyone with this link can view they would see all the kids folders and information obviously that's not confidential we want to change that so here's what we're going to do we're going to go back into our folders and we're going to change the permissions on each one i'm actually going to get rid of this one this was just for example let's just go back to our folders so this guy. Now that I've clicked it, I'm going to go back to my share link and I'm going to go to the um, settings here. And for this specific folder, even though I'm leaving the parent folders permissions the same with anyone can the link can view, I'm going to take this off of this child specific folder because I don't want anyone to just be able to see who has speech services and what they're working on. So I'm going to share it with him specifically. You can choose whether to notify people by email that they you've sent some, them something or not. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so now that's done. I'm going to go in and change the permissions on these ones as well. Same process. Click on it. Click the share. Change it to only specific people. and click OK. So remember, click only specific people off. We want the permissions off only specific people. OK, so remember that the view that I see, if I click that link, it says it shows everyone's folder that's in there. That's what I can see from this same from this folder that we created. Let's go over to another window where one of the students is logged in. So we're going to go here and you can see that this is Lawrence's Gmail. He's logged in here and I'm going to just paste that exact same link. I haven't done anything. This is the same URL. Let's see what happens you'll see that Lawrence can only see Lawrence's folder. That's because we went in and changed the permissions on them. So he has access to the larger parent directory, but we took off the permissions for him to be able to see Griffin's folder and Brent's folder. He can only see his own. Let's see now if we go to, well, it's kind of already logged in, but if we go to Griffin's, login griffin can only see griffin's folder so you see that that we're in the same parent folder here same one but each student can only see their own folder that's exactly what we wanted now anything i put inside of these folders will be private to just that student but since i have one url that everyone can access to get their folders i can do something pretty nifty like go over to my website if you have a website or put it in your email signature you can put homework and then you can put your link there pasting that exact same link so that now you can always just direct your students hey kids go to my website to check your homework. They click on that tab, it's going to open up and show them just their folder. Now this one is logged in as me, so um, I should be able to see everyone's here, but let's go over back to, back to Lawrence's. Let's go to my website, which was, um, here, click on homework and Lawrence can only view Lawrence's folder. And we've got a quick, easy, convenient place to house it. 
I can easily update things for kids. I can come back over to my list here and I can, uh, I can either make a new document using one of the Google document types or I can upload things that I have as resources that I want um, Brent or any of the students to look at for homework. I can just upload it here and everything's easy and convenient. And you can even, if you wanna put folders and you, you wanna put files in your folder that are a part of the Google provided ones, like a Google Doc, then one of the neat things is if you want to just tell them what their homework is by adding a comment. So I believe it's under insert comment. Oh, you have to type something first. And then I can insert a comment. And then the student would get a notification every time I made a comment. So that's one way you could update them. And then they could do the same thing. They could reply here and then you would get a notification. They might say, hey, I did my work, I'm all finished, I had a question, whatever it is, you get an email letting you know that they have um, participated in a conversation with you. Or if you wanna do a spreadsheet with them, so we could add a spreadsheet in there. And it's just telling us that whatever we put in this folder will have the same permissions as the rest of the folder. So only this student will be able to see it since that's how um, we set it up. So we could put, um, we could turn on notification rules here that anytime someone makes a change, we get an email. So that way you could even have it set up so that it's like a running log of homework and the student can write the date and put uh, that they've done their homework. Whatever you want, you'll get an email that they made that change. The other nice thing, since we have this parent directory and anyone could see whatever's in there, if you have a resource that you do want all of your students to be able to see, you can put it here and then they all can have access to it and their folder. For example, I have a welcome letter that I send to parents and students at the beginning of the year. So I could upload um, that there and then all of them would be able to see that same welcome letter. So for example, have my welcome letter there. Oh, that's not the right thing. Just pretend we'll, we'll put it anyway. So we don't have to spend time looking for it. Now let's go back over here and we'll see in my tab, of course, I can see whatever that resource is, the parent handbook. It's there for me to see. If I go to Lawrence's tab, since I left the permissions the same as the complete um, larger folder, then anything I put there, he'll be able to see. But the only folder he can see since I changed the permissions is his own, okay? And anything that I put inside of there, he would be able to see as well. If you have any questions about that, feel free to contact me on Facebook. I go by Autumn Bryant, Speech Language Investigator. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on blog, on my blog, which is um, autumndawnbryant.wordpress.com. And leave me comments, let me know what you think, let me know how it's going for you. Uh, and let me know if you have any other ideas, any things you'd like to see as tutorials, I'm happy to help. Thanks.